Now, everything I've read online about these differences say things like, Americans just prefer a quieter flush. And I'm like, you guys, you do realize that Americans are probably the loudest people on the entire planet. And for us to say that we are drawing the line at the loudness of a toilet flush is honestly, it's fake news. It's not true. That cannot be the case. Hi, and welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. Today, we are not going to dive in because we're talking about toilets and that would be gross. We are going to cover this topic in the classiest way we possibly can because I do not want to be known for talking about toilets on the internet, but it's pretty interesting because UK and USA toilets are actually pretty different and use different systems and I think you deserve to know. Also, this is just an aside, but in the US, we say toilet paper. That's pretty much the only word for it. But in the UK, you might hear loo roll or toilet roll. So there's your first difference. And on the subject of language, I would also like to put out there that I am absolutely over, and I do mean over, British people saying to me that it's weird that Americans call this a bathroom. The argument is that you're not always going to take a bath in there, so why call it a bathroom? Or the other argument is that we still call it a bathroom even when talking about like a row of toilets, which, okay, I do get. Technically, there is no bath in there. You are not wrong. However, I find it equally weird the opposite direction that Brits tend to call it the toilet, but they're not always referring to the actual toilet. Like you could say, sorry, random person in a shop, where are the toilets or where's the toilet? And you're really asking where the room is that holds the toilet because what if you're just gonna touch up your makeup or just wash your hands? Are you washing your hands in the toilet? I don't think so. Now I am not claiming Americans are right. I'm just saying this topic deserves further investigation and discussion and obviously, arguing in the comment section. So please get started on that while I continue. So American and British toilets are different in a lot of ways. Let's start with the means of flushing. American toilets use what is known as a siphonic system. It works by creating a vacuum to suck the contents out of the bowl. <laughs> flushing, which opens the tank water and lets it flow into the bowl. The water in the bowl will rise, then subside really, really rapidly. As the water exits, it displaces the air in what is known as the trapway, and this is what starts the siphon. So that is the point at which the water starts to subside really, really quickly. This siphon or vacuuming action is so strong that it sucks things out with the water. And then if you listen, you'll hear a gurgle, which is when the vacuum is broken and the siphon stops. At this point, the bowl then is filled with remnant water and the tank refill process begins. A washdown toilet, which is what a British toilet is, just uses the gravitational flow of water to flush out contents from the toilet. <laughs> Stuff is pushed out just by sheer pressure from the water flowing fast. The trapways in a British toilet are short and wide compared to the long and narrow trapway in an American toilet. In many washdown toilets, the water level is quite low compared to the water level in a siphonic toilet. This means that American toilets do tend to use more water than British toilets, but the water level does mean that American toilets can have less of a smell to them because the waste is under the water and you don't get as many marks on the toilet in an American toilet because the waste goes into the water without hitting the bowl. Do I really wanna say this on the internet? I'm not entirely sure. However, British toilets clog so much less than American toilets. That narrow trapway of an American toilet means that American toilets are prone to blockage and you will definitely see a plunger next to toilets in most American homes because they clog so, so easily. And then you have to do the very unpleasant job of unclogging it. And once an American toilet gets clogged, the water level is already so high that typically a clog, meaning that the water cannot escape, often means you're flooding your bathroom with toilet water. The shorter and wider trapway of a British toilet means far less clogging. Another difference in the shape is that American toilets are longer because of the long trapway and British toilets are much shorter. 
It is also extremely uncommon for an American toilet tank to be built into something like a cupboard, which is very common with British toilets. When I first moved here, I was fascinated because I would see the toilet bowl in many homes, but I was so confused where the tank was. They fit so much more easily into bathrooms, and this back-to-wall concept makes things look sleeker and better designed. British toilets also often use a dual flush system. Not all of them, but it is much more common here than in the US. This means that you can press one button for a smaller flush and another button for a bigger flush. In most American toilets, it's just one flush. And often in America, I see the handle style of flushing mechanism a lot more than the button one that I tend to see in the UK. The flush on a British toilet is also louder than on an American toilet as the pressure of the water that's needed to flush and push everything down just makes it louder. Now, everything I've read online about these differences say things like, Americans just prefer a quieter flush. And I'm like, you guys, you do realize that Americans are probably the loudest people on the entire planet. And for us to say that we are drawing the line at the loudness of a toilet flush is honestly, it's fake news. It's not true. That cannot be the case. Americans are not taking the volume of a flush into account when deciding on buying a toilet. You heard that here first. That is 100% not true. Anyway, which toilet style is the better one? I'm not sure, that's a personal choice. And honestly, it doesn't really matter what you think because in each country, you're pretty much gonna find that country's style of toilet. Installing something like an American toilet in a British bathroom would require different plumbing. Um, and so often you're, you're just gonna go with what is known in your country. So um, this video is not going to champion one type of toilet because they both do have their pros and cons. But if you didn't know before, now you do. And you won't be like me when I first moved to the UK as a little 19 year old who was sending pictures of the toilets here to her family and friends back home. Also, I still can never remember here if the small button is the small flush or the big button is the small flush. So usually I just end up being wasteful as an American and pressing all the buttons. I am sorry. Also, do not get me started on the pull cord style flushes in the UK. They're pretty cool, but this Victorian style of toilet handle was developed in the late 1800s. And I have seen evidence online that some Americans are now trying to be fancy and have them in their bathrooms, but I certainly had never seen one in the USA and only saw them when I moved to the UK, particularly maybe like at a, quite an old pub or something like that, that just hadn't changed the bathroom style. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you learned at least one new thing. And if you didn't, I would question why you know so much about toilets. Let me know down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.